actually, this was not my first choice school. I actually applied to Indiana University, Bloomington, and Michigan State, and um, a couple of other schools, and I found out that they were too expensive. And um, when I was originally applying for colleges, I had considered Howard, but I had heard some negative things about it from people that were already going to the school online, like on MySpace and Facebook. And um, a couple of people said, no, don't come here. It's horrible. And then some people were like, oh, I love it. But then when I asked them why they loved it, they'd be like, oh, social life. Oh, the people are really nice. So I was like, okay. Howard is the major I want physician assistant. And I didn't really know what to expect, but um, I was very um, happy that I chose Howard. And I'm um, enjoying myself. I wanted to come to Howard because I want to be a part of its illustrious legacy and also because you can only have black college experience once. Um, the social life is great. Even though I don't party a lot, there's a lot of people that do. Um, there's always parties on campus, off campus. There's, I mean, everyone's friendly. Like, when you first get here as an incoming freshman, like, it's not very hard to make friends. Everyone's very social. There's so many people like you who can relate to you, and I think that's something that, that kind of gets overlooked. There's, we can relate to basically everybody here. Um, on multiple levels and it's just it's really cool because there's so many different pockets of of like groups of people. You'll never be in your dorm all day and if you are that's weird because there's always something to do on campus. Being from Detroit, um, hearing always hearing things, you know, about this or that happening in so-and-so's neighborhood, in this neighborhood, so-and-so getting jumped. It, it, it makes you, I'm weary of it, I'm conscious of it, and I, I watch what I do a little bit. Well, not a little bit, I'm very conscious of what I do and where I am and my surroundings, but at the same time, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. I feel safe because I always take precautions not to go anywhere late alone. Usually the people that get shot at beat robbed are the ones that go off campus alone late at night, two in the morning, or with valuable items that people that are visible, that are not hidden. But I feel safe. Sometimes. Not when strange men walk onto my floor. Not then, no. I don't feel safe when that happens. They definitely need to up the security because um, they just walk right in and, you know, that's not safe at all. I don't feel safe. Out of all the schools that I visited when I got to Howard, Howard the only school has an open campus. So anyone from DC can just walk onto this campus and drive onto this campus and basically harass us. Um, I don't like that. The biggest problems or issues that come to mind offhand are have to do with the administration and the administration building. Um, I, it takes a lot of time for paperwork to get processed. Um, that's a very big issue that has been um, that has been resounding the past couple years since I've been here. And then housing. I know a lot of freshmen that came here from far away, distant places, didn't even get housing because of the disorganization of the administration of residence life. They lost their paperwork. They turned in their housing deposit several times. They didn't acknowledge that they received it. Um, that's a glaring problem that needs to be fixed because it shouldn't be that disorganized to the point where students from Nigeria or from California from the West Coast aren't getting housing. They shouldn't have to catch three buses and metro trains to school every morning to get their education. That's unacceptable. I'd have to say arriving here for the first time being excited moving into my dormitory, um, freshman week, meeting everyone during freshman week, parties on the yard. I would have to say it was when Obama was first elected. That was a, that was probably the most electrifying moment in my life. Never been, and I don't imagine ever being in a situation where so many people could um, just come together and celebrate like that um, with no 
no exclusions. Some people from Georgetown came on the yard. It's like some white guys came on the yard celebrating with this. Yeah, it was a good night. It was a good day. I made the right choice. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is the right choice. I had such a hard decision, um, like May 1st when I had to make that decision. But I and I actually sent enrollment fees to two schools, and then I was, then I decided that I wanted to come to Howard. But I'm really happy since I've been here. No, I don't regret coming here at all. To be honest, I have gotten so much exposure that I never thought I would get being at Howard, and that's completely honest. Um, I'm being challenged academically. I'm in engineering. Um, I, no complaints there. It's, it's rigorous. I'm, yeah, I'm doing everything I always wanted to do, which is a lot. And um, yeah, I, I love Howard. <laughs>